we are in Old Town Barbershop. I request him to introduce himself. Sir, what are your names? And we would like to know when did you start this business? How long have you been in the industry? What do you do? Yeah, you can tell the world. Mostly English, if you can flow slowly, slowly in Swahili, they will understand. But this is hair pitch where we talk about hair and this is where we talk about saloons anything concerning hair anything concerning saloons we talk about it today we are with john juguna saloon owner he's a young man he's married he has a yeah he's married so don't be there i think you can see the ring <laughs> so welcome and uh, let's hear from him when did you bro start this business how long have you been in the industry where is the business located what do you let's flow yes as i take my drink <laughs> thanks th- th- thank you mr jasper yes so my name is john Degua. i'm a father for two ladies which i love most yes yes so i'm located in luaka better center yes and uh, i specialize with the hair mm. luaka better is in uh luaka better in, in kiambu, kiambu yeah, county kiambu county oh. yeah. kiambu wangige kamotaine eh, westlands that street yeah that uh street there eh. so i specialize with the uh, at most shaving pedicure manicure a little bit of uh, scrubbing hair scrub dye we do hair color yes Most yes like those ones oh so but today i'm giving out about a uh, history of the barber shop yes old so, town barber yeah, shop town barber shop yes so, we are in old, old our town. viewers we are in old town barber shop yeah, in kabete in lower kabete lower kabete opposite la paz opposite la paz yeah before you reach Kamtaini, yeah. Kinero, Kinero, yeah. Wangige, yes, uh, that, uh, uh, <laughs> that that street, that street, that street. Yeah. So Kiambu County, exactly. Yeah. Yes, that's where we are. Uh, Opo- uh, next to One Stop Car Wash. One Stop Car Wash. One Stop Car Wash. Yes. So we have come here to to tell our clients mm. they are Karibu. We know how to do the work. We know how to shave. Uh, they are welcome most so today is on the uh, today is 14th 14 today is 14th no, november, november 2024 2024 yeah so so i started in <coughs> when did you start yeah 2012 mm. so i end up uh, okay i want i was in school because i all of a sudden i can't lay and so there was, there is a lot of challenge in life yeah yeah but yeah. Uh, so far so good you have to try all your best you invest in your effort yes. until you ca- reach here true so i have traveled a lot nimepitia mengi nimejiriwa kwingi but naye mungu akanibariki akaniambia john now you, you have to own your own barber shop true so uh, right now in Old Town Barber Shop, it is like uh, young we are taught oh, to own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the first barber shop in Leon, it was secondary. The second one, it was only it was Nishama, it was Form Four. Yeah, yeah. Right now, I have the that one. Oh. So uh, there is a lot of challenge. It was Kwanza and Wafanikazi. Those true, ladies want to put on a deal, want to lay off, but the <laughs> party life. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. the other thing is that I want to talk about it. Me at the okay, mbumili vula mbiv. Yeah. So you know, my nisha, okay, okay, mbumili ya kuakazimoja, no TBD, mungu atakubariki, na kikubariki atakupatia another level. True. So from there, uh, you have to work hard. Yeah, yeah. So Mr. Jasper eh, right now Palimiko nashukuru tu Mungu amenibariki amenifikisha hapa and I know I will go far yeah yeah yeah, yeah. right now mwaka ni kuisha anaisha atujui the next mm. year tuanzia wapi tutamalizia wapi but Mungu akona sisi 
2020 you've said you've started a business in 2012 yeah those are like 14 years from 2012 it is about 10 years now 10 years yeah, yeah around and in old town baba shop <laughs> I'm, I'm here in like uh, five years oh five years now so how do you inspire there are people who are like major a major major question that people want to know mm-hmm. and fellow youths like us yeah how do you get capital to start something you need to to first work and get a lot of money you need to 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 go for a loan you need to you can give us a crew of you can or a family member something like that so that someone can know how to start those who want to start how do you get capital that is one of the major questions that disturbs people who are like who want to be entrepreneurs okay let me ask mm. that in Swahili yeah kwa shilingi 100 you have to save like that bob in every single 100 shillings so if you have if, if you want to grow mm. in your life and in your business whatever so to me nilikuwa naeka that bob savings account mm. kwa every shilingi 100 i hope una nielewa yeah. and you'll save that one for three years so just uh, uh, understand from three years mm-hmm. una save 100 uh, that bob for 100 shillings if you have the umoja kwa hizo the umoja ni save 100 uh, that bob uh, 10 times manila yeah, yeah so in a day for example ninge zipata ni meka mia tatu so mia tatu hii kiti nimeenda kwa duka nimebuy with 14k mila yes so that is maybe a month a month ama a week ama one week mm, next so then nenda up na kuzileka home kwa store mm. niendelea hivyo na niwa kitia sink na kuja na niwa fertilizer spirit azieka tu kwa nyumba yeah, yeah. so in one day nikajiuliza mta manage kulipa rent yes hizi vitu ni shama manage kuzinua mm. rent na manage kulipa na nikilipa nyumba nitapaka rangi na nini vio nitatoa wapi anielewa so mi nika end up na kungangana kungangana kwa maisha nika save nika save nika save sasa already nilikuwa na shamba wa kila kitu pesa ya ambao niko nayo pesa rangi niko nayo nikajiuliza hasa location ni gani nikajiambia location nikatafuta nyumba nikapata opposite la paz next to uh, one stop car wash hapo ndio nilipata the the house nikapata a nice land road mwenye anani uh, naelewa so ina biashara nini nini but i do it well then ikifika kwa kazi unajituma mimi nikatoka kwa kajiriwa nika nikakuja nikapata kazi yangu nikafungua kazi nikapata challenges ya afanyi kazi all of a sudden nikapata na kijana anaitwa Tom mwingine anaitwa Jose nikangana na wao nikangana na wao sasa hizi ni 2 years tuko na wao hapa yeah. so at least mtu kama Tom ame grow akiniona na furahia ana grow cuz hata mimi kuna pale nilikuwa and all of a sudden sasa hizi tuko na yeye hapa oh. so those who don't know Swahili mm-hmm. he's saying start saving start saving 30 bob or 30 whatever shilling or whatever money 80 percent yes 80%. whatever o, o, what you of what you are getting yes. yeah whatever you are whether you are having dollars shilling we don't know whatever whatever percent 30 percent 70 percent yes. 40 percent save it, yeah. save buy your things slowly buy your things slowly after all that you have to look for a good location location matters yeah a lot. where yeah. are you going to put your business yeah. Yeah. so location john matters yes location matters that's what john is telling us and he's a uh, he's an experienced man in this business he has told you he has he started this this is his business the third one to own so he has been in the industry almost 10 years 12 years over 12 years 10 years there so 
start saving buy what you want keep it at home small if you see a seat put it at home buy it no pressure no no rush buy small small things then keep them so mr john yeah we want to know how have you managed uh, to run the business to keep it going for all these years okay let, yeah. let me say one thing yeah? yeah the business it is all about trustworthy 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 let me use that name trustworthy because mm. without trust you can't own the business you can't run the business you can't uh, trust people to be there when you are not yeah. there so trustworthy means something true so when i mean trustworthy i mean when i left tommy i left jose so the exact uh, amount of the the understanding of the business my client Tom can take them Jose anaweza wachukua so hesabu itakuwa aje you have to be trustworthy yeah you can't you, you can put cctv unaweza put voice recording yeah, yeah, yeah. but if there is no any trustworthy you can't true. operate your business true at the end of the day when you make up on what wako na familia so without that trustworthy you can't run the business and first of all lazima ukubali kuibiwa no ukikubali kuibiwa utafanya kazi aje so you have to understand what when you kona wao unastahili kuwa trust na kujua vanya wanaishi kujua wanakula kwa hiyo biashara and from there treat them well so sure. utajua kenye wanapitia we mwenyewe utasaidika kwa biashara na unaombea kazi yako yeah unawaombea unaombea kazi yako na Mungu anakubariki kabisa kabisa yeah. so trust worth is one of the major things that runs a business yeah. i also have owned a business uh, saloon whatever whatever we own in our lives yeah god can lead people to you yeah so much if we go if god has given you such a place yeah. whether big or small god will lead good people who will trust you and whom whom you will trust yeah so sometimes it's god who brings people in our lives because it's bro it's not easy to trust people it is not easy. it is not easy it is not easy eh? you can't you but but, but when mm. you see there is a person who you trust yes yes take, take care of that person that's a lot a lot a yeah. lot a lot treat him like your brother uh, or your sister be yes uh, just to be, be there, there. Be there just to be there like your business is yeah, and broke. talk to your god uh, yeah, so that you yeah, can yeah. be <laughs> <laughs> true true that's true so uh, <clears throat> another thing that yeah. i've seen mm-hmm. and what i realize is some of us fear to start a business some of us fear to start even me when i had when i first started my salon yeah. long time that was 20 20 was it 2017 mm-hmm. that's when i started my business then i 2016, 2016. then i was like oh and if i wanted something big but if i look and you our viewers if you see this place this place is not a big big place yeah but John is earning. You are not earning, bro. I'm earning. Yeah. Serious, serious, serious. <laughs> so that, that, that's how the yeah. family is hey. going. You see? Uh, yeah. John I'm, is I'm making money. He's I'm a still earning. He's a beauty. He's a cute guy. He's married. <laughs> he's taking care of two ladies. Yeah. And <laughs> exactly. Hey. A family two of two beautiful three. girls. Yeah. So that's much. what I mean. So, so you can see the place is looking nice, yeah. and. Uh, don't fear to start don't fear to start wherever first look for the location after all that you've mr john has told us like save put money somewhere buy things slowly slowly then look for a location don't fear to start 
some of us were like we are like we want a big big you know yeah something yeah, yeah. big but, uh, let, let me ask uh, let me answer their question yeah mm. okay let me use uh, the soil yeah mm. so what wengi it starts from the mind yeah. so that mind ya sisi anza hii biashara niko na uoga nitaweza aje kulipa rent rent itanilemea ama nitaweza kulipa you understand me yeah, yeah, yeah. i was yeah. having that fear true, true. my first business nilikuwa nalipa rent 1500 eh na akiwa lai ilikuwa inanilemea second business nilikuwa nalipa elfu nikafungua biashara sasa nauliza Mungu wangu Mungu wangu elfu saba nitapata <laughs> but yes. i was okay nilikuwa na manage nilikuwa na manage nilikuwa pale kengero mwisho nika ikatolewa juu ya barabara hiyo mm. highway nilitugonga duka yenye nilikuwa nika have kufunga nilika about four years without a business biasa yenye nayo Mungu alinibariki nayo na nyumba yenye nilipata nili have kulipa yeah 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 more than 10k sasa sema ni ngapi lakini more than 10k nikajiuliza nikiwa kwa nyumba hata hiyo siku siku la nyumba yenyewe nimepata sijalipa sijaanza nikaongea na Mungu wangu nikamuuliza Mungu nisaidie niweze kulipa hiyo na ndio juu niko na watoto niweze kuwapea unga nisikose pesa ya rent nisikose pesa ya nyumba nisikose pesa ya kupea watoto wangu wasikose kusoma eno venye naongea hivyo i'm very young yeah yeah but mungu naye amenisaidia hadi nikafika hapa yeah. old town motor i mean old town yes. i'm still here and i'm not living yeah yeah na kampuni inazidi ku grow <laughs> Next year majaliwa ya Mungu kampuni naona inaendelea kuwa kubwa eh, just wait and then the other episode we shall yes. put it there yes yeah this is old town old baba town. shop yeah. lower kabete opposite la paz then the other yeah, next, next to one stop car wash next to one stop car wash yeah before you reach kamtaine before you reach kingero mwisho we on that road from spring valley yeah. zen gardens that road from okay. westlands yeah. that's where mr john is located so whoever wants a haircut marine with fed yeah. rash uh reza colors hair color yeah scrub nice beards yes we also put the beards uh-huh yeah You are free to come. So if you are located in Lower Kabete and if you are somewhere and you've seen Mr. John and you are like, "Eh, I would like to support this man." <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Eh? I would like to support this gentleman. You can come. My phone number is 0703422866. Yeah, we're gonna put that number down there. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to ask anything concerning here ask anything concerning saloon okay. so today as we are here we would like to know some things yeah what is this this is a brush it, for those brush. who don't know yeah. this is a brush this is a neck roll for neck for neck while yeah. cutting hair this is a neck roll we put it here before you cut this is a spray bottle for water spirit. yeah spirit water yeah uh this is a uh, powder. powder uh these are colors hair yeah, color yeah hair yeah. colors then uh, we have uh, a sterilizer this is a sterilizer where we put our machines machines there to to sterilize those uh, germs yes uh, those are the... it's like a disinfectant machine exactly, yeah. yeah these are the clippers this one is a uh, a clipper but mm. cordless uh, so everything is here everything is here 
you can see the seat i'm uh, i'm comfortable yeah. i'm comfortable you see john is also comfortable exactly. we are taking our drinks as we enjoy oh. the life so <laughs> so welcome, welcome so welcome always is a young man so how's the economy bro just small the economy oh we should pu- we should keep pushing okay the economy, not giving it, up it, it is be- depending on you yeah okay when i work it's well, in the mind perspective okay let mm. me say you go come on wacha ni sema ni favor ya Mungu yeah, kwa yeah, biashara yeah, yeah. na ikiwa kwa favor ya Mungu unafanya kazi yako vizuri unatia bidii unasikiza client wako service ya client wako inakuwa mzuri so it is all about favor True. kwa job no no so tukisema the economy inaweza kuwa mbaya but you are still making it yeah, yeah, yeah. about making it it is when you talk to customer well when you you give your client service well when you talk to your customer and service and the way you handle your client it is very good yeah so uh, you are not supposed to, bo- to talk about economy the people who are talking about the economy it is about the supermarket yeah, yeah but the baba the baba and the those service industry yeah, let me yeah, say yeah. it is all about your your work yes how what, you treat your uh, guests uh, the how you treat your treat, i call them guests yeah how to teach yeah. a client so that you can just eh, mm. eh, build your business yeah. yes but to me to me uh, i'm supposed to say it is all about my fault and god's favor because true true i need to ni mungu ni mungu because i have the clients now madui ni wengi huko nje madui ni wengi because unapata you have a line yeah the other person they don't have a line they have a yes, shop, yeah? yes. so they end up and uh, beating you because for no reason yeah you yeah. are still hack- working hard they you have a client unatafutia mtoto wako unga mm. but mtu ametoka tu from noya amekuja amekuliza hey hi bro eh mbona una customer hii kuniliko sasa what is that anelewa so whenever it's a vizuri na utie bd even dio mungu naye anakulipa we never speak about good mm-hmm. night that's Indeed, so, so. so when you are like that wale wakati bidi wewe unatia bidi lakini unajipata kwa kwa kichapo wenye uko unajelewa so mimi naweza sema mtu kwa biashara yake anatia bidi hapo ndio unapata unga hapo ndio unapata school fees hapo ndio unapata maziwa hapo ndio unalipata rent ya kulipa hapo unajelewa So for okay kwa mimi nime hustle a lot. Na vijana wenyewe nimeajiri wanapata unga hapa. Wanapata maziwa hapa. Na nashukuru Mungu na napata pesa ya matumizi yangu na lipa rent vizuri. Niko na background zingine na nangangana na, na, nazo. So to me nasema nashukuru tu Mungu. Cuz si nguvu yangu kuna kufika hapa. Eh. Cuz unaweza enda hata work from airport lakini unalipwa mshahara mzuri lakini una maisha mazuri na kitu ya kwanza ni comfortability mm. kitu ya pili ni kuwa na trustworthy kitu ya tatu nayo ni kuwa na umeheshimu wafanyakazi na unawalipa vizuri that's why we call there ndio what it your client vizuri na without that always it is your customer vizuri mm. so me can just say Eh, ni Mungu amemfikisha hapa. True, yeah. true, true. Treat where yeah. in some places clients are called guests. Yeah. There was uh, an article in uh, one of Kenyan newspapers where they said treat your guests cause treat your clients as as you treat a guest you've never seen. Maybe true. Eh? Treat them like Whenever I, I I know this is your client who is like constant he comes daily today tomorrow he comes every week you see but whenever you see that client treat him like a guest make him feel special would you like a drink 
would you like a, a glass of water yeah, yeah just those those mind it's so that he or she may feel special Very welcomed awesome. we are service providers and we are in this industry where some people don't feel appreciated yeah okay so if your client comes and you appreciate him or her you'll be like hey i can't leave joy sometimes okay. it's not about you, you, you see mm. in uh, service industry yeah 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 kuna au client when you kuja they don't have the idea true so in your business okay you are paid within uh, through that pr that you have when you have that pr i'm just trying to say mm. kuna au client when ukimuonea pale nje unamwambia karibu custom next thing unamwambia kalia hapa ni kutengeneze ama uvunje goat ni kutengeneze very true kuvunja goat ni kukaa chini mm. ni jina moja heshima then the other thing unamuuliza tutengeneze nywele yako aje yes yes hi after that unamweleza kuna service yenye tuko nayo ya yeah? yeah. haircut kuna that service ya eh, laser cut yeah kuna feed kuna afro mm. kuna those those the uh, such types yes, of zinajulikana so when uh, akshama is a client kuna ayo majina yenye inakuanga sana sana kwa industry na watu hawajuangi mm. that inakuanga na mean a lot true 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 kitu kama asante watu wengi yeah. wanaanga <laughs> no, no. that's very true kitu kama karibu watu yeah. wanaanga that's very true No no. Kitu kama nime appreciate watu wanaanga. In service industry una style kuwa unaongelesha client depending na venye eh client umemo approach ushaongea na yeye yeah. ushajuana na yeye. Haya maneno si mageni mbi. If I forget yeah that client you see if I'm Johnny's client yeah you don't know where I've passed to come exactly to. yeah And if yeah. I come to you and you don't treat me well even the haircut you might, I might by the way this happens yeah you might give me a bad haircut yeah but you've treated me well bas true true you'll come back even you viewers you can you can yeah, just comment there. this yeah comment there <laughs> someone can give you a bad a, a, a bad service yeah but the attitude towards you the approach the first approach that person has given you yeah will make you come back by the way okay? yeah then another person will give you a, ba- a good haircut but the attitude was not good oh, you'll no. be like i i won't go back there by the way okay oh you will be like when i feel like i will just go there <laughs> so attitude and uh smile that what you've said welcoming But asante what do you a, want a lot of pr in yes. service industry what are you, what do you want to do something like that cause that feeling eh? yeah. someone has to come back by the way just a smile a, a nice service a nice service nice smile <sighs> uh, to, a, to appreciate Feel that plan when you get a client pay you you are you have to appreciate feel at home true, true, yeah true, true. Uh, welcome another day yes something like that because i've ever handled a client yeah by the way my um, you know you see my page i'm mm-hmm. a hairstylist a professional one mm-hmm. there is a client who just entered the saloon and he was like are you drunk he asked <laughs> me that are you drunk yeah before i welcomed him very well and i you drunk yeah. are you drunk i was like bro i'm not drunk why are you shaking by the way so some you, clients you, you had a fear yes yeah. some clients they don't know how to lead it mm. however much you treat that client very well mm. some of them don't know how to relate so what john has said we have to make that person feel at home Yeah. the first approach the first attitude and connect with yeah. the clients, yeah then if the 
haircut or the service you give to that person plus it, the, it, it, it is perfect plus the the, the 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 handshake of like hey bro you are welcome yeah. <laughs> they had the smile <laughs> exactly, ah, yeah. i have to just come back but by that true yeah, i true. have to just come back feel at home i'll be I, like ah, a fair price yeah. it, it is just nice to operate with the client yes i'll just come and, and back and get a more, more client to deliver true true so treat your clients very well welcome smile appreciate However, the, the haircut might not be good, but that person will not forget you. Now, by the way, how do you want to find out who you are? How do you want to find out who you are? Come and see your wow. Yes. Na na shukuru sana juu ya wao kutoshikilia. Sisi kama wana biashara, you see it is true. It is not easy. It is not. So, judge tena na tena na murudi. Na hiyo ndio furai. Tukiwaona tunashukuru. That's very true. Tunashukuru sana na tunawaombea Mungu awasaidie kwa njia zenyewe na kwa maisha yenu. That's why ndio murudi hapa tena we do the service. We make your appearance. Ya wanaume hiyo ndio makeup yenu. Na mnayasaini mwelewe. Hiyo ndio your makeup so just uh, come to us yes all town baba shop we are there for you yes yeah. don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like comment share ask anything concerning hair ask anything concerning salon today we've been mr john yeah. at uh, old town baba shop lower kabete wherever and those people who are around kiambu county all of you are in kiambu county yeah. if all the world wherever you are in case you are new and you are from usa asia australasia north yeah. america south america europe oceania antarctica and you want to come to kenya for a haircut yeah this gentleman is here the salon is here it opens from what time to what time uh, eight to nine eight to nine uh, and up to maybe ten public holidays no i'm just around hey he's yeah, around my, public holidays. my number is there zero seven zero three four two two eight six six yes zero seven zero three four two two eight six six so you handle uh, ladies and the, and, and gents yeah. concerning haircuts yeah, concerning and haircuts. colors Uh, it is about scrubbing hair yes. colors just hair cut and facial ah. relax, pedicure manicure yes head massage yeah okay all about so that. today's show we've been with uh, mr john don't forget i repeat don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like comment ask anything concerning hair ask anything concerning saloons Yeah. This is what we've talked about. You've seen this, you've seen the gadgets, some of the gadgets. You've seen uh, we've not showed you the scissors. We have scissors, mm. towels, everything that is concerned with the barber. Concern, yes, concern yeah. that's concerns a barber shop. Sink is there, you've not seen it, but the sink is there. We have screen, you can watch football and you can watch news in yeah. case You, you want to be updated you want to feel bored By the, the music yeah. is here eh? exactly yeah. <laughs> you want to feel that vibe <laughs> yeah. can you tune for me i have this song do you yeah, have it, it, it even it, wi-fi by the way, by the way. Yeah, there is wi-fi, wi-fi there, there is, it is around it is around, yeah, it is wi-fi, around. Yeah. yeah if no wi-fi so then feel you, comfortable when yeah. you are here when you are here we shall all spot you By the way, true. <laughs> But, but there is a wi-fi so we can just connect for yeah. your phone laptop yes in yeah. case you want to do some errands while you're doing having exactly. your hair cut yeah yeah you can have a zoom talk while you are here so always welcome i remain hair peach and uh, this show is about hair this podcast uh, podcasts are about uh, hair they are about saloon anything concerning hair anything concerning salon today we've been with john lower kabete i repeat that because some people you are like ah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah it's mr john lower kabete before you reach uh kinero before you reach kamteine or before you go uh, if you if you are coming from that side Uh, Kabete campus just next yes. to Kabete campus. Yes. So we are just Kenya School of Government La Paz. Yeah. Yes. Kenya School of Government that road. Uh 
another campus is this campus is called the uh, Kabeta uh, campus yeah there is Nairobi Na- Nairobi campus sorry. yes and then you are just of, next uh, yeah. university of Nairobi yes so you are just next to uh, opposite La Paz next to one stop car wash yes yeah. yes that road yeah. zen garden spring mm-hmm. valley yes you are welcome and, and we are, when you come from kikuyu we are just in king eramusho kamoteine then uh, then kabete uh, yeah. ngorokori kabete uh, ngorokori kabete yeah. <laughs> yes i know you know the place <laughs> yes 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 i know kenya uh, now yeah. so thank you bro for the show unless yeah, there is you. anything you want to add up you want to tell us so unless you there is any question that. you want to ask me concerning saloon yeah. you can also ask me Okay. I know saloons and I know hair, bro. Eh? Okay, I, I know I know that you you are okay in that session, but you see me have been in, in, in the industry eh. more than me. Yeah, but you can ask me. But, but you, can, you can just uh, eh? you can just tell the viewers eh. so that they are caribou. <laughs> All of us we yeah, are we, in the same industry so I can, handle. as you can see you can check my YouTube channel, my yeah. Instagrams, hair peach peach underscore hair on Instagram. TikTok is hair peach then uh, YouTube hair peach mm. Facebook is hair peach you can check you see those links down there but I do anything concerning hair anything concerning hair and anything concerning saloon I can talk about it and I can know so feel free to check on us and subscribe we shall come back with another show where we talk about hair and where we talk about saloon we Yeah. yeah, see you bro. Thank you. Okay, then.